Pixel 8 series launched with the promise of AI and the wonder of Magic Editor. But how does it compare to its older Magic Eraser sibling? Jumping right into the erase function, we start with a nice beach picture. Magic Eraser does a pretty good job at removing the distractions, but does have issues keeping lines straight. Magic Editor, on the other hand, leaves less artifacts to stand out, but when comparing, we'd see that it achieves this by just adding random features, like the extra railing. But it did do well with the wharf reflections. Out in nature, and we have Panko Crumb enjoying the sun, but what would it look like if he wasn't in the shot? Applying a razor to Crumb and his shadow look pretty reasonable due to the random nature of the grass. We give Magic Editor a go, and it actually looks even better. Patterns are absolutely at strong suit but both still look pretty good. How about when detail is just plain hidden, with the only hints being greenery and a street sign? I can't really fault a razor, but it is a bit unnatural and didn't do anything with the sign. Magic Editor also ignored the sign and just made up a possible scene, but it does look more plausible at least. Jumping to a different shot and we see the real scene is a city street, so both are a bit off the mark. This one was a bit more frustrating. Two bottles of fancy barbecue sauce. Running a razor on it, and it at least knows a bottle exists behind the other, and it did well extending the window. Magic Editor did not want to cooperate here, only ever offering to replace the bottle with other random objects. Removing both bottles didn't help out Magic Editor either, with it still wanting to replace rather than remove. How about when you want to get that empty arcade look? Unsurprisingly, a weak point for a razor, removing objects one by one without too much thought of the overall image. Magic Editor, on the other hand, did some absolutely amazing work, keeping the entire shot together. Just don't look too close. This champagne tower shot could be improved, I reckon. A razor kept the scene pretty true, but did overdo it a bit when it came to the base of the posts. Magic Editor did a better job blending the ground with its surroundings, but also made the same mistake and removed the base of the posts, and um, replaced the umbrella with a mountain? Both features also work on older photos. Taken on my OnePlus 7T Pro, Magic Eraser makes short work of this busy shrine. Results aren't exactly neat or subtle though. Magic Editor didn't like the aspect ratio of the old photo though, thinking it was a panorama. With a quick crop in though, and everyone's happy. It does look neater than a razor, but the addition of random elements is just a bit wrong. Diverging too much from memory feels a bit uncomfortable. How about removing window frames from a nice skyline? Magic Eraser ended up going a bit too far, losing a few buildings, but it did a much better job than whatever Magic Editor thought the assignment was. But it feels like it just doesn't handle the complexity well. But there's also more to Magic Editor than just the erase function, with it featuring object movement, sky and water replacement, portrait tweaks and image stylization, all based on what it can identify in a photo. The sky replacement looks far better than the original Google Photos sky tinting option, with golden hour often working well. It's especially nice that the overall lighting changes too, not just a skybox swap. Some photos are especially blessed, with Magic Editor allowing a heap of different options. The photo's sky tint is, again, boring, in comparison to the dramatic looks of Golden Hour and the sky edits. The water and portrait options weren't too bad either, but didn't give me the look I expected compared to Portrait Blur. While edits can make things look dramatic, they can also make things look a bit ridiculous and weirdly blurry. Movement and resizing was usually pretty average. Too obvious and not blending well enough with the background, with the extra generated elements of the moved objects or associated shadows just looking bad. Stylize option is fun though, and probably more in line with what people connect with generative AI. I'm not exactly sure what I'd use it for beyond that though.
While it's still early in its life, I definitely can't see Magic Editor replacing Magic Eraser anytime soon. It's erase results often being worse. But hey, Magic Editor can do so much more if you can put up with its downsides. Object selection generally felt worse in Editor, often being super fiddly and would constantly fight me on object selection, where Eraser just understood what I wanted. Magic Editor also requires an active internet connection as all processing is done in the cloud. All well and good, but it does make the whole thing much slower while you wait around as it generates results. Where Eraser being fully on device is almost instant. You're also at the whims of what Magic Editor recognizes in your shot dictating what it can apply. While some photos gave me plenty of things to try, others just came back with nothing. I expected it to offer a portrait option here. At least I could fall back to the classic portrait blur in photos instead. I also would have really loved to add golden hour to this Japanese bell tower. But again, Magic Editor says no. So not a total win for AI, but still a great feature. It does get frustrating knowing that Magic Editor is straight up lying to you though, but it is more for a pretty shot than an accurate one. And until it can learn from your other shots what's expected and improve a fair bit, Magic Eraser will continue to be a solid tool.